Welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host. Hope your holiday season is going well. Uh, today, our session on Wednesday Web Chat, we're going to continue to focus on the new version 9.3 of SAP Business One. And today, we're going to be taking a look at some improvements, very welcome improvements, I might say, in the blanket agreement area. And so today, we're going to be taking a look at some enhancements that have been made in the blanket agreement area. And although I'm going to be focusing on the sales blanket agreement, please know that there is also a purchasing blanket agreement and all of the functionality is replicated on the AP side that we're going to look at on the AR side. Um, initially, when the blanket agreements came out, they were only available in the sales AR side of the application. But uh, one of the enhancements along the way to where we are today was to add the purchasing side. So uh, look for the same functionality in purchasing, which has some great business benefits also. Um, what we're really going to see is better control of blanket agreements and greater flexibility and productivity of blanket agreements. So uh, I've got a big list here of things that uh, we may or may not see uh, in the little demonstration that I'll take you to in just a few minutes. But uh, here's a list of some things that uh, are included in these new enhancements. Um, Determination of exchange rates can now change, not just at uh, the uh, outset of a sales agreement, but they could change along the way. And um, we'll take a look at that, actually. Uh, you're going to be able to update the plan after creation. In, in early versions, you couldn't really change it once you started it. Uh, now you can. Um, you can add committed and ordered on the detail tab, so we can see kind of the whole uh, status of the blanket agreement. We can control deviations from the plan. So if I want it to be very strict and not allow a customer to buy even one more than what's on the plan, I can stop that. Uh, I can set the shipment type for the plan. I can control payment methods and terms. I can um, edit the start date until link documents occur. And then the first link document is going to fix the start date. Right? I have the option to auto assign a blanket agreement if there's only one blanket agreement available. And I can manage the customer and vendor reference number now on the plan. And I can display the doc status in the documents tab.